I think we did something really brilliant with the new Rack series we have made in 2018. It has such a low profile that you can put it on the desk and use it as a desktop controller, but it's still Rack unit. And we have them in one and two U, and this one is the Rack Fly Uno. So it's a one U versatile Rack controller with 24 buttons, LED bars, OLED displays for whatever you want. Just take any of the device cores, even adjust parameters because they are all four-way buttons. And if you don't know what that is, please check out some of our recent videos because it's a really awesome concept. In, uh, in this case, I just hooked it up as a really basic routing panel for a video hub. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool. And uh, I want to take you directly to it. So if you look at it from the top, you can see our uh, beautiful, by the way, just a single cable here for power over Ethernet. Um, and if you look at the form factor, you can see the cable comes in right here. So there's actually like an inset on the back side, so you can easily get the cable in and out, even if it sits in a rack. And you don't lose that space that sits right there, and it's still really low profile, so that it's, it's uh, ergonomic to use. Uh, on a desktop. All right, so what I want to do now is to zoom in and show you what is on uh, all these displays and buttons. Uh, just to give, give you an overview, these are buttons for setting the um, output and these are buttons for setting the input you want to route to the output. And here we have a shift key. I think we're just going to start with the shift key. You can see I put a graphic on this one so you have uh, instructions given that if you press this one on the side, you're cycling which input pages you want to address. So we have uh, inputs. Uh, this would be one through, what is that, 11, and then 12 up to 23 or 22 or something, uh, and then uh, onwards from there. Uh, now we don't have any of these sources available because it's a small video hub with only 16 inputs. And uh, therefore, you only see those labels. So, of course, if you go to this one, you have everything up to input number um, 15 or 16. Um, if we want to change this, let's just quickly go to the Blackmagic Video Hub setup and we can change the names of uh, the input, for instance. Call this one CAM16 instead if we wanted to. And as I save, you'll see that this is immediately updated on the panel. Of course, it is. This is how we like to do it. Now, uh, if we go back to this one, so you see that I'm basically paging by pressing the edge on this one, and that is a four-way button for you. If I press edges, I go forth and back. Now, if I press the lower edge, as indicated on the graphic, I have a chance to um, uh, select different outputs. So it's an output switch key. Now, you can't see that because it happens in the other end of the panel, but what I'm going to do now is to press the lower edge on this button and when I'm now moving the panel over. So you can see here we have all the outputs. And when I press it now, you see that these are changing to show me different outputs. Okay, that's it. Now, let's look at some of the router action here, right? So um, if I press this one, output number one, monitor one, I can then go to the input section and then I can route any input to that output. You see it also in the app on the uh, computer here. I show that because it will give you an overview of what is routed where. So as I press these buttons, you see that those sources are all routed to monitor number one. Now, one really neat thing about our implementation for the video hub, and you'll see that in the video with the quick uh, bar as well, is that you can press and hold these buttons, and then you actually add more than one source uh, we could even go uh, to the other page and then take output number 16, for instance, um, and add that one. You see? Okay, and 14 here. Okay. Uh, and now I lost the connection to these because you need to press and hold. If you just make a single tap press, then uh, you do not add the selection. So what I do have now is input uh, output number 1 and 3, and then I have output 14 and 16 selected. Okay. So when I go back here, you can see, and that's pretty neat as well, that we have an indication that input number one and four, and also over here, uh, input number 10, they are all involved in those outputs we have selected. So that was 
uh, input four uh, and one. Uh, so that corresponds pretty much to that. And we could probably observe the same thing for those over here. But now if you look at this list and then we press now input number two, notice that this input is now routed to monitor one, monitor three, and then output 14 and 16, because those were the outputs selected on the panel. So that's uh, a quick introduction to what you can do with this really uh, versatile panel. Um, you can do so many more things. So this was just button presses. So just imagine what you can do if you set it up with parameter adjustment and really use the four-way buttons. That's for another video.